the world of art, culture, and science. We're involved as of less in 13 institutes of higher learning. Um, of late School of Theology, for instance, down in Texas, is one of St. Paul's University. Because there is one way of mixing with people, being involved in mission to people who are going to make a difference in the world. In the Philippines and in other countries that are involved in the world of agriculture, the guy at the bottom in the wheelchair founded a setup in the Philippines, a farm, Galilee Farm, where he teaches people, campesinos, a, an alternate way of farming. And he has turned what was desert into a garden of Eden. Preaching the gospel through music. Just one example there of a Sri Lankan priest who was a violinist and a composer who took Buddhist music and Gregorian chant and he composed a whole new type of music bringing these two religious directions, these two systems of thought together. When he died, he was honored with a stamp by the Sri Lankan government. He was more mourned by the Buddhists than he was by the Catholics because he really opened a world to them. And many others who use music as a way of preaching the gospel. I have to come back to my own country, South Africa, our scholastics, through song and through dance, you can see them doing the African dances there, presenting the gospel message of light and God. The world of art. Brother Franz Klarhout um, died now, but an internationally acclaimed artist in South Africa, who through this, uh, an impressionist style of painting was able to put the gospel message through to the simple people in the rural areas. Those paintings may look a bit simplistic. Each one of those would sell for about $5,000 in minimum. He is a well-known artist. In the world of education in schools, just one picture here of school that we have outside Lima in Comas, um, an industrial school where young people are trained and given the skills to be able to go physically make a change in the world. So we're involved in educational institutions in a number of countries. In the medical world, that guy there with the stethoscope is an oblate priest. So how do you get to we have a 400-year-old building with a cloister, and we use it. What you see over there is a thing called the Pause VD. It's a little like bar thing, a little like restaurant thing that we have, where we have about 120 students, Exeter students sitting. Students who bring their lunch every day, and they come and eat it there. It's open from half past seven to two every day. And there's an oblate and a lay associate who work together at the Pause VD. Not to baptize them and to, to bash them to go to church, but to help them to discover their values. The sort of thing that they hear quite often. You know, I was baptized 18 years ago. What does it mean? My parents told me I was baptized. That's the fun thing. And X is one of the cultural capitals of Europe. And so we have the world famous X <coughs> Festival in July every year. And one of the members of our community, Brother Dominique, been appointed chaplain to the artists, to the world of culture in X. And so we've got different pictures there. We use our church for um, concerts. Sometimes we have up to two concerts a week in the church. Good artists who come along to perform. And our cloister, and then we have a magnificent room with a vaulted ceilings, um, we use for art exhibitions where artists come and display their stuff. Usually we try and do a very big exhibition for them, at the present moment, and before Christmas, with a strong message. And the rest of the time it is to try to encourage people who are artists to come to this place. During the X Festival, um, we have a stage and we have chairs put in our um, cloister. Obviously the festival doesn't happen in our cloister, it happens in the big theatres, 300 euros the ticket. But at the same time, Dominic organizes, we've got the stage, we've got the chairs, let's bring in all the young people, the young artists of the X area, they can come and perform. 
So, it is one way of making contact, a couple of pictures of some of the artists that we have had. And I conclude then with a summary of all this in the words of our Superior General today. He speaks about oblate mission, and that's oblate us, all of us. He says, being at the service of the most abandoned, we bring them the immense hope of Christ by means of a community that dares to cross borders. And I'm not just talking about Brother Greg and Brother John and Brother BJ and myself, etc. It's about every single one of us here. Every single one of us who is involved in our main mission has as our goal to make the world a better place for us to I hope that through focusing on these, these already vibrant places will become even more vibrant and then there will be an even 